Hello everybody, my name is All Chaos, and welcome to the table. I probably have to fix my filter. Alright then, hopefully this works, I don't know if it will or not, and let's get onto the game screen, and I really do need my fan on, because it's plus 19 outside, and um, kind of have a baby instead of concerning temperature and stuff, so, hello, I am the bat, and the game is going to start, and is starting. So, uh, just to let everyone watch and know, this is still theater of the mind, so I don't have any maps. Just imagine, um, it's a, they're outside of the madness house. That this venture. Yes. And um from the session before the madness mansion, they were out in the wilderness. And this mansion is also out in the wilderness, so and they have their friend, Samba, who is the best of friends. Uh, uh, until Sam Bug decides that, um, or realizes that Ender isn't chosen of the forest but the spirit that he says he is, and decides yeah. to eat him. But that's impossible because Endings are really dumb. Yay! And not all that wise to be in death. Then again, they have like 10 plus 6 movements. So, I don't know. Everything's up in the air. Alright. Hi. Hello, Shy. <laughs> this is a Shy appreciation game. Oh, really? Yes. Then again, I appreciate everyone. While also yeah, wanting yeah, yeah. to kill everyone. It, it's a, it's a, it's a very odd time for everyone. Yeah. Uh. And hello, Sky Badger 50. I hope you enjoy your stay, and I hope you enjoy the amount of dying, or not dying, that may happen to your sister and everyone else. You know, she's rooting for my death, but I have heals for that, so we'll see. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. So, there is Luciano, Tria, Drag, Helen, Hi. and Shy. What up? All of you are going to have a good time, or a bad time, whatever amount of time there is. Because it's ready to go! Hey. So, right, so, we were outside the mansion, yeah? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, what is your first thing you're going to do as you're outside of the mansion? And just getting out. So, well, we go ahead. Sorry, I have a quick question for all of you. Roll perception. Ooh. 
Yay! Perception? <laughs> Alright, let's see. We had 20. We love to see it. We love to see it. Havelar continues to be the oaf not paying attention. Oh, we still love him. <laughs> Alright. So, everyone who got uh, 15 yes, perception plus you will all notice uh, I guess I never actually added that yet. All right then. So, who remembers of, so, um, out of characters, uh, who among you remember a thing from the old game near the end? Which thing? There's many things. Are you talking about the patron's eyes? No. A creature. A bunch of creatures you offend, offended before they all burnt to death. In a massive we're fireball. Encounter, we're about to encounter mycenoids, aren't we? Myconids? Those guys. Oh, you mean that stuff that. You mean those uh, myconids that um, Usurp killed? You killed them, Talon. Me, nah. No, that was totally Luciano. No. That's incorrect. <laughs> I remember oh, this. Geez. That was all for you. No, I'm talking about a big kind of semi-giant thing. Uh, would that be a uh, shambling mound? No. Mm. Was it our ogre friends? Mm, no. Are we talking trolls now? Oh, finally. Someone did right. That was in the middle of... That wasn't at the end of the campaign. <laughs> I don't remember properly. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be fair, not a lot of us remember a lot of things. So... This is we weren't true. even there, so, you know. <laughs> Alright, so... While you guys are doing that, a troll stumbles around and goes, Ha! Food. Delicious. Eats. No. <laughs> um, I am not food. So, roll initiative, Cam. Well, what are we killing? A troll. Alright, we'll have a little spring into action. Yeah! I don't know. It looks That's like oh. he's going to be a Havilar. Oh, uh, don't worry, Havilar. Please just give me the six instead, you know, because I, I, I didn't click the token. I would love the 20, but I rolled the six first. Alright, initiative. Don't worry, Hav. If you go after us, we'll be able to make you really, really big. Uh, it looks like Havilar is at this proper place, the end of a round. As it should be. <laughs> the end of a Havilar. <laughs> Alright, cool. So, I'm going to be able to go and beat up whatever the heck this is. Cool. This is cool. Alright. So, I have to do a quick bit of math on the question. Are we fully rested? Uh, you guys never, you guys were rested before you went to the mansion and never got hurt or used spell slots. So technically, yes. Oh, uh, we mean we, we also got our Ogma Infinitum bonuses and stuff that takes a while, doesn't it? No, that was instant. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> well, we're out of luck slots then, sadly. Mm. Mm. All right. I think we'll be okay. okay. No luck to back us up. <laughs> the dice are definitely still on your side, but I believe in all of you. I say this fully knowing me, but anyway, Shen Ravisha, it's <laughs> All right. Um, where's the thing I'm going to go up and punch? Uh, it's Alright, here it is. I see the troll now. Cool. 
All yeah, right. trolls are large, right? Do you want to increase the size on that? Uh, I kind of forgot about that. that mm. That's more intimidating. Uh, oh, anyway, it's right fun. there. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and use a <coughs> bolt, because why not? I'm not going to be approaching a troll, I'm going to... Uh, that's a hit. So, yeah, I just add this bolt of light and just throw it at him. Try to hit him in the eye. Nice. Well, it doesn't hit his eye, but it does a bit of damage. So now it's three... Uh, is that the end of your turn? Because I believe you have a bonus action turn. Ah, uh, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and move over here. To where Havilar is, because when Havilar moves forward, then I will move forward. So, that's my turn. Alright. Oh no. It is now true. Uh, <laughs> I, I love the energy of Jess over here. <laughs> That's right. Oh, yeah, yeah I kind of semi forgot about Sam. We also forgot about our positioning, but we're just going to roll with that. <laughs> let his Alright. He goes um. after Oops. That's a miss. Anything else you're doing? You can do uh. the toll of the bell. Ooh. Yeah, let's. Yeah, let's do Toll the Dead. Alright, he has to do a wisdom save. Uh-huh. He fails. Wow. <laughs> Miserably. <laughs> Jeez, did he fail. <laughs> so, um, he takes the sex damage. Because he's already injured. Not already injured. Oh wait, yeah, he is. I'm sorry, you're right, he is. Yes, because he did get damaged by a radiant sunbolt. As a yep. DM, I, I have to know these things. Yeah, I'm sorry. Alright, and it's the troll's turn. And the, and since the troll was never hit with fire damage or acid, he restores 10 H. Canceling out some damage from the part. <laughs> I also kind of have to remember that I moved my microphone to my, to my right. Because I did, because I want it to have less static. <laughs> My desk has monitors and you can see on it. So, um, anyway, he will do a thing. And this thing will move him to. Let's see, what the quickest route can I. Yeah, I can do that. We'll move here. And there, attacking Sam. Oh my god. Oh my god, are we gonna have a giant fight? Yes. Oh my god, yes! Yes! He misses versus fight. And his two claws attacks so. Because they both miss. I also need 
changes. It's not auto advantage. I really hate auto advantage. There we go. <laughs> so let's have a look at Hello, DC. Welcome to the table, my friend. I hope you enjoy your stay. There's a giant fight right now. And, and this poor troll kind of sucks. But anyway. Hey, it's uh, just getting warmed up. It, it is. Hi friends, we have at least two new peeps who are here today for the first time, so I'm going to explain some things, because I know at least one of the peeps, I think both of the new peeps, are interested in D&D. So, there are three different types of things that characters can commonly do. The first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using my bonus action. I am going to be casting Hex on the troll, which is not something that I usually do. But I decided to do it today just because I'm going to try to experiment with my magic. Um, so I cast Hex. I am going to make it have to have this advantage on hmm, constitution saving throws. Because that's one of the things that Hex can do. Um, I am going to try and pop that off over to chat so that way people can see it. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to send the spell's information, um, but for some reason it is not letting me. Um, so that's my bonus action. And then the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to cast Eldritch Blast on the baddie. Uh, a 12 probably doesn't hit. No. <laughs> yeah, so that means that my attack misses. And then as my last thing... Hmm. I am going to back up because giant enemies like this guy over here and this fella over here, who is one of our friends, have what's called reach. They have the ability to attack beyond the normal range for melee attacks, which is normally just five feet. But since they're big and bad, they can hit at 10 feet. So that's something to keep in mind if you ever played D&D. And that is my full turn. All right. So... Um, Hender, before it's your turn, it is Sam Bub's turn. Yay! Sam Bub will do a thing. Hopefully. So they will attack this guy with their battle axe. I nice. accidentally had that on advantage, but it didn't matter. Because it was a hit anyway. And... Oop. Well, slashing. And they do their morning star, which is a miss. Quit missing. Crawl. They treat them nice. They're doing their best. <laughs> so, Ender, it is your turn. Awesome. So Hender, we'll we'll try to do like uh, Luciana does and explain a little bit better around here because Hender is a sorcerer. He's a basically a hobbit sorcerer, and uh, that's kind of complicated. So what we're going to do, because Hender is actually an ideal territory, he's going to move back here, basically as far behind uh, the Etten friend over here as we can, and he's going to fire. A firebolt at the troll. Kablam! That's a hit. You'll love to see it. And then we're gonna deal seven fire to it. Kablam! Quality 90s Nickelodeon Entertainment. That will help stop his, its regeneration. Indeed. And, um... We're going to use a two points of sorcery to have had that quickened, which means that we can cast a, or to have this next spell quickened, which means that we can cast two spells in the same turn. And that spell is going to be 
enlarge reduce and we will turn our good friend Havilar into a very large dragon man instead of just a pretty large dragon man and that will last as long as we're concentrating on him so now the troll has to fight two very large people oh and then something happens and then because we are a special type of sorcerer and we have a special type of item we have to roll on a special type of table, which we have been dumb and not uh, gotten open because we never do that. And because we have this special item, we do not roll a chance to see if we go to the table. We automatically roll on the crazy things happen table. I love the crazy things happen table. We roll a 43. Zal, you are going to have to get that one for us as we get the D&D book out in uh, the background. Um, I can always open that up right now via Volpunk. Excellent. Excellent. We'll get our our silly little tome out in the meantime. So, uh, 43. Oh boy, here we go. Causes you... Oh, For the next minute, you can teleport up to 20 feet as a bonus section. On each of your turns. Nice. Excellent. I'm so glad you you didn't get the 42, or else you would have been a plant for like a while. That is the one we're avoiding, actually. <laughs> That's the, specifically the one that we've been trying to like just not get, no matter what, just not even think about because it's the bane. <laughs> it's only for like a round, but that could be our end. <laughs> Or, you know, um, ca- casting fireball centered on yourself. Is also sucks, and that is the one we actually worry about on a more regular basis, yes. Alright, um, uh, so we suppose that's all we can do with our turn, and we'll move on. Um, oh yes, because you already need the bone infection where you can't find teleport. Yes. Right. So we want to burn that fool. <laughs> Alright, so... You love to see that kind of roll. But now it's a Havilar. Yay. And and the joke for Havilar in the campaign is that he is usually the last one in initiative order. So around he's known as a Havilar. As it should be. So Havilar uh enlarging uh looks towards the troll, uh, shield and sword in hand, uh, sprints around the back here of the troll. Nice. Uh, and let's loose a ferocious roar as he swings down with the long sword. And boop. That's it. Excellent combat noises. I get an extra d4 because of the enlarged reduce. So... Yeah. Nice uh, 16 damage there. Mm. All right. As, as Havilar then also taunts the uh, troll by being like, Which do you fight? The Eden or me? Yeah. The double fight is very, very kind of annoying, not gonna lie. But anyway. <laughs> Uh, it is now a tender Disha. And actually, I will set these back in the center order, and there we go. Alright. Speaking of which, I need to, um... Is it my turn? Yes. Alright, cool. I am going to uh, go up to Troll, and I'm going to whack him, and then I will use... Whack away. And then I'll use a key point to go ahead and get me two other attacks, and that hits. 14 damage. And then I get two other hits with my unarmed strike. So there, and 
There. Uh -oh. oh, I love to see it. Crit fumble. Um. Still takes 18 damage. Alright, so. Double-edged shield doesn't make any sense because there's a charge with that. That's perfect, I like shield. that. While uh, Zal's doing that, if it's not too much to say, uh, to explain to people normally critical fails would not be such a threat because our character is lucky and we can stop critical fails. Some D uh, knowledge there. Um, but, but anyway, but anyway, um, ow, 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 make a DC 16 con saving throw on a failed save. You are unable to attack with this body of parts until you finish a short rest. So, uh, that was 18 damage to the soul. Good progress. Yeah, that's kind of okay. So that's a constitution saving throw. And you failed. What was the con throw? Ah, uh, sixteen. Yes. Oh, I thought it was thirteen. Okay. Well, you can no I longer use your offhand. You are uh, unable to punch people with that with the arm. Um. All right. That's yeah. That's now you could only sword sword and not punch people. Unless yeah. you put away the, your sword and use the other hand to punch people. Or I can just switch my sword hand and punch with the other hand. And slash with my other hand. There we go. That, that's you, not how that works, though. The limb. It says you can't use your limb at all. Like, on a failed save, you are unable to attack with this body part until you finish a short rest. Yeah, that's a bit ridiculous. Oh, well. Sure. <laughs> I love to see it. Because I hate it. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, but that, that's kind of like, that like really just ruins the whole point. Anyhow, I'll be right back. Uh, it's not, that's it, my turn. It, it's definitely not my fault I drew that so. Anyway, Tria, it's your turn. Uh, Alright, I'm going to try to use spiritual weapon. That's a hit. Cool. Uh, Roll damage. Six. And then I will do. Uh, Hold the dead. Oh, another. Oh, come on. Uh, I mean, you technically want that pen. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. The ten's what yeah. you want. It's nice. Oh, no damage taken. Oh. Yeah. We still love you, Sanja. All right, the troll doesn't regenerate on their turn, but as you guys are fighting this troll. Four orcs come into view. Oh no! Okay, back. And, and they and they join the troll in in attacking you. They also roll the mission. Oh no! And I just roll. All the arcs on, on the same roll except for the Grimsh one. An eye of Grimsh? Yes. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh double the, yes. They, for those who don't know anything about D&D lore, are the chosen of the god of orcs. So, um, this troll here... He sees big giant dragon boy, 
And he's going to try attacking the dragon boy. Come at me! <laughs> ha ha ha! One miss. One, two miss. Hit! That last one is a hit, though. Oof. Oof. Eleven that doesn't happen often. I'll update it, thank you. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> this is all in part to the Dragon Boy. Well, not really, but anyway. <laughs> um. So that's the troll's turn. My turn. It is now the Usyk's <laughs> turn. Good. <laughs> They're all right next to each other. Mm -hmm. I have a very fun spell that is perfect for this moment. I'm going to cast a second level shatter, and I'm going to be able to hit every single orc at once. Love to see it. Uh, that has a DC of. Yep. 15. They have to. So it's gonna start. Hmm. It's gonna start right here, and it's gonna hit all of them. Oh yes, yeah, oh, ten foot radius, isn't it? Actually, so... no. It's gonna start right here, where the green circle is, and it's gonna hit all of them. Yeah. And then after oh. that, I am going to back up. Um, have fun with those rolls. Uh, so. Three orc con saves. A ten foot radius, you said. Yeah. So you can do one... it on. You can do it on center orc and get the troll too. Oh, thanks, fam. Oh, but you would get Tria. Yeah, Tria. Right. Hmm. All right. Quite... Let's Tria's see. Fifteen oh, feet up. You want to quite... Oh, the uh, the orc failed. You'll love to see it. Um. So Tria, are you good? Go for it. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna do it here, and the orc is gonna also take an extra bit of damage because of Hex. <laughs> you mean the troll? Yes. You, I, you guys know you, what I mean. You cursed the troll. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go uh, ahead and roll, roll the extra d6. One. It's fine. <laughs> you could have rolled it in your attack and spell count, That's why it's, it's there. It's, it's fine. <laughs> Um, so, well, anyway, uh, all the orcs had already failed there. And that's an extra 19. Oh, yeah, I have to roll the trolls. Save. I didn't so do that. that so roll that's troll. an action. So then. Hmm. That fails. I'm also going to go ahead and cast um, my Hexblade's Curse on this regular troll. So if he dies, I get extra HP. Whenever you he mean, dies. You mean that regular orc? I am doing my best. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how much damage did I just take? Uh, did you pass? Oh, okay. You, you, took, you took 19. Okay. Yeah, sorry. It's cool. Are you still good? I am still good. All right, cool. Just blame Luciana. So that's okay. Actually, well, blame us. I I told them. I, I told everybody it was okay. That's on me. Well, uh, Luciana was being greedy, so technically it's his fault. I'm fine with it being my fault, especially because I know I'm not going to cast. My bonus action. Instead, I'm just gonna give um, Tria a potion of healing, and then I'm gonna eat my. She technically doesn't need a potion of healing. I know this is me being nice oh. because I got her in my spell. All right, he can do it. I'd rather you hold on to that in case I can't get to you later on. <laughs> it's fine. You can get. It's, it's fine. Anyway, and if Luciano's character dies. Anyway, okay. it's it's Sam Buster. <laughs> and um I actually should have this character sheet up before I do. I'm kind of stupid. Uh not really. I just make fun of myself a lot. And Sam's great. Uh five eleven. That's it. That's all that damage. Um So funny story. Um 
the troll's dead. Yeah, yeah. Thambug coming in clutch with like almost max damage. Heck yeah. <laughs> the, the troll is dead, and Thambug still has an attack, so he's gonna go for a here, attacking this guy. <laughs> wow, too. Just. Kablam. <laughs> That's a uh, heavily injured orc. And, um, that is a turn. It's now a Henders. It's Ooh. actually, you have the oh. orc at 14 initiative as well. Oh, yeah. So it's the three orcs turns. So, all, let's see, what do I want to do? Then? Kind of a thing that you do with them. Uh, unfortunately, they're kind of, well, heavily injured and useless. But anyway, uh, this one's gonna go over here, flanking Sambo, and this one will go over to Tria, attacking her with his great axe, failing miserably, I might add. And the other two will also try hitting Sandbook with their great axes, and one of them getting a crit. Oh no! I, I love don't have any luck. I love to see it. <laughs> so, GM crit. No Sandbook. Um, follow up. Your attacker may make. Uh This is the GM crit of all that. Yes, yes. Uh your attacker may make one additional attack against you. I believe that means Sandbug is getting attacked twice by this score. It does sound like that, yes. So I will roll this great axe of damage, do nineteen. And then I will also roll the regular 21 from the other orc for the 9. And then the orc that got the crit gets a second attack. So I will roll a second great axe for another hit. Alright. No, Sambub. Have please save Sambub. <laughs> and um, I will do what I can. It is now a have alarm. Oh no, it is uh, tender now. Yeah, it's tender now. Yes. <laughs> um, we're going. Oh, so the troll is dead, right? Yes. That's why he nice. gets stolen from. Okay. So. Uh, we'll just have a really hard brain time right now. Okay, so we'll spend two sorcery points to quicken a spell called Mind Spike on the Eye of Grumsh. Uh. If he does what is called a DC 15 wisdom save, I can then see that. Oh, we're telling the, the listeners because we've got new people here. And he has failed. Yeah. Oh, so he takes full damage. Yes, but also, <sighs> isn't that a high level spell that you have to 100 roll? It is. Sorry, Luciano, if we explode in your general vicinity, but you're standing next to us, so you really should have known better. Three. For the next minute, we can see any invisible creature we have line of sight to. There's no invisible creatures around you. Well, at least we know now. <laughs> 
And and since that was quickened, we're also going to cast a firebolt on that same Eye of Grimshkai. He was the guy who critical success, right? No, that was one of the oh. orcs. Oh, well, it's fine. We'll still hit the Eye of Grimshkai. That's a miss. Or, or maybe we won't hit the Eye of Grimshkai. That's fine, <laughs> too. <laughs> anyway, um, now it's a Havilar. Oh, yep. uh, let's see. Havilar is going to position himself, uh, flanking all three of the orcs. Oh, uh, did, did you move past the Eye of Rouge? Uh, yeah, I, I would have in that case. He could take so an you attack. Hit it. Yeah, that's an attack of opportunity. The dude's missed. But it was an attack. And, uh, with that, Havilar will, uh, once again pull out the trusty longsword and swing for this one right here on the ping. Uh, Alright. Oh, I accidentally closed my character sheet. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. And there's the swing. That's an exact hit. Ooh, love it. Nice. Uh, and then also the D4. You didn't, you don't even need the D4. It's dead. Got chopped in half by your giant sword. Yes! And yeah, so Havilar will, uh, run in trying to, to be a hero. Doing heroic things. Uh, I, I, I'd say it looks moderately fancy, but not too fancy. So. Nice. The orcs aren't impressed. But then again, the party has managed to mangle and almost kill all of them. So. Huzzah. <laughs> We'd be impressed if we were there. Alright, now it's the Eye of Grimster, who is still alive. And he will attack Sambo. Because Sambo's no. the closest target. So he will bonus action. Spiritual weapon hitting Sandler. You monster. Or, or force damage. And he will also two handed spear and miss horribly. But that's okay. He did damage. He did his job. Monster. Alright. It is now Chandradisha's turn. I will be his. Alright, so then I'm going to. Control oh. from yeah, so I'm going to run up here. And I am going to go ahead and. Uh, hit with my short sword. That's a miss. And then I'm going to go ahead, flip my sword back, and then with the same hand, do an unarmed attack. That's a hit. And he's dead. There we go. Good. And that's my turn. As I bash, bash his skull open. All right. Sam Bub avenged. All right, so it's now Tria or Senator's turn. Uh, remember, Tria, your um, thing only moves 20 feet around. But since it was attacking the soul before, it can go over and attack any of the remaining orcs. Okay, yeah. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use my spiritual weapon since it's up. That's a critical hit. That's a DC crit. Uh, nice. We'll go with this one. 
maximum damage, and if the target is resistant to this damage type, at least that is really for one minute, which doesn't actually matter to the trolls that orc is dead. It's <laughs> okay. crushed um, up. And then, and then there's another orc over here that needs to initially murder, right? Now. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go with Toll the Dead. You like to see that well, but he has to roll a week. Which is an utter failure, and he's dead. Nice. So, you all have access to a short rest. I was about to say, I would really like for us to take a short rest. <laughs> Alright, cool. I'll get my I'm arm used back. to short rest. Mm. <laughs> That's not a good hit die, but... A and proper long rest. That's a really good, good hit die. You hey, could use as many hit die as you need during short rest. Yeah, I've used my awesome. And I get my key and my arm back. Yay. We don't recall if we get luck back after a short rest, that's or is it only, only long rest? That's only a long rest. Yeah, I we get. think we're running only on long rest effects on our character. I get all of my spells back. I love it. Yeah, Warlocks Warky are nice. Duck. Warlocks, uh, for those of you who are new, Warlocks are unique in that they are the only class that gets their spells back at a short rest, but in exchange, they have extremely few spell slots. So I have two spell slots. They all cast at maximum level, and that means that if I use, like, a damage-type spell, it does, like, extra special damage, and it's, like, just harder to resist all of that sort of fun stuff. But in exchange, I can only do it twice per short rest or long rest. Um, so. I have a quick DM question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On short rest, do NPCs hit their HP back via their hit die? Yes. We'd assume so. Alright. I don't know if that's ever been elaborated on anywhere, but we should homebrew it that it that if it's not the case, then it is the case in this campaign. Alright. Usually hit die determines level in that regard, right? Yeah. So, yeah. so um many hit dice your level. Sam but Sandbox's total level is like 10d10, so I can sacrifice like 3d10s for that for him. Plus, yeah, 10d10 plus 3d10. Um, R, 1d10 plus 3. Um, I meant for that to be like a few more d10s. So. So, R, 2, D, plus another third. And you'll probably have to shrink me down at the end of this, too. No rush on that, though. Uh, I'm sure. Yeah, because uh, in large reduce only lasts for, like, a minute, right? One minute, yes. yes. Um... I'm gonna use a healer's kit so on he gets, Sam Bob. So Sam Bob gets 11 health. I investigate the bodies of our enemies. What do we? What do I get? Um, you see a strange symbol on them. Let's see. Uh, Can I run around? None of you are able to tell what kind of symbol it is. Or what it denotes. Uh, well, for that. Well, well that's not gonna help. <laughs> Alright, um, let's see. There's another way, though. There we go. So, um, Lucer and Chandra Disha, you realize this is one of those Strange danger princes oh. uh, who happens to that you can understand is the Lord's sworn oaths and the bloody curse. 
All right, let's go kill the Cedric friend. Oh, boy. Uh... I still haven't determined whether or not they're really evil, but... Uh, they're evil. If trolls and orcs uh, serve them, I'm willing to strike them down. Don't be yeah. racist. Um, <laughs> and Sandra's like, uh, we do not know what we're up against here. I'm not sure that's a great idea. Hender is, as always, super down. All right. So I think before we do it, though, we should go ahead, head back to town, get a robot army by freeing all the um, enslaved constructs. And then laying seeds. That's, the, that's one of those things from the future campaign I was talking about, so. <laughs> we would yeah. at some point at least like a long rest. Anyway, you guys had your short rest. I'm happy about this. You you might not be happy about this, but I'm happy about this. And I actually have to fix this. Yeah. Uh, she doesn't have her AC bonus in there or anything that I'm going to fix. A base 30 for some reason. I, I, I that up. No, my base HP is 37. I, I didn't know. heal all the way back up. I know, I just noticed that. Anyway, there you go. Are we level 5 now? No. Oh. <laughs> Probably level five after the test of this game, though. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, uh, as you, after you guys finish your long rest, you are all up. Um, actually, have to have this of them all. Uh, did you all be in like some kind of position thing? Okay. Oh, that's not good. Um, oh boy, here we go. Where is front around. and where is back in this situation? Yeah. Uh, front is here. And back is there. Where? Yeah, front. we didn't see that. Front is this way. Back is this way. This way is front. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say. Anyway, uh, as you guys all after you guys are arrested and ready to go. So is this way front is all the, the blue that I have area yes. going right now? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so uh Havilar will lead the front with uh like next to our Eden friend. Yeah. So you all see in some odd formation. Oh, Alright, I actually have to move those out of the way. So I'll circle later kind of things. And, uh, you see. God damn it. Alright, so. Okay. okay. Alright, you see a strange looking or that um if anyone were to say oh I don't know either a history or just or uh perception no <laughs> I feel like giving this to you guys anyway uh drag is able to um Havilar is able to notice that this fork in front is an aura. And they're a special type of orc within the ranks of orcs who happen to be stronger than the other orcs. And, um, other stuff. Anyway, uh, you, it is time for initiative. I did. Yay! More initiatives. Roll again. I may have accidentally deleted the hinder. We think you did. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you might who, be okay, should, should, uh, should just we uh, redo it or? Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll re edit. Okay. 
I'll read it the end of the book, which was originally... Oh, okay. Sorry. 8.7. Eight. And... Seventeen, actually. And cool. We'll be right back. I love to see. You know what? There's so this is only an encounter of four, so I can roll each of those up here. Oh, I know. I know. Because Helen has so much that's... <laughs> anyway... Is exactly. Chandra Fischer. Alright, I... I eat my pen on or I'm going to point all life. What did we miss? I'm going to come over here. Oh. And I'm going to <coughs> punch this orc in the face. Nice. Well, first I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to use a key point to double punch the orc in the face. Uh, don't you only get your key points at, back after a long rest? I think after short. Actually, after reading. Yeah, we think it is short. We could be wrong. Short or long rest. Okay. Yeah, monks Even are after. super beast. Even if it hadn't been, Talon only used like two key points last time, so she probably still would have had more. Alright, that nine missed, but the other two attacks did hit. And of course, because it was a short rest, you have the use of your full fancy hit. So roll the short sword and the first unarmed strip. Alright, uh, let's. Are you serious, Olive Garden? There we go. Over 20 damage. That's nice. Um, he's dead now. So I just run up and kill him. That's right. Just <laughs> Kenshiro'd is... that guy. This is why I hate monks. <laughs> That's why we love monks. Anyway, it's the whole four of sir. And after seeing one of his, uh, Friends insanely murdered without even getting a turn. <laughs> <laughs> um, this or the orog is going to no only fighting. There's only the fighting. Um, he's going to go over there straight to you, <laughs> and he's going to attack and kill. Uh, I have to check Chandra Heesha's AC. Uh, my AC is 18. Alright, those are both hits. Or 20. Okay. Uh, let's see. Alright, I need heal. Hey, I need health, uh, healer. Can I, can I have health, please? <coughs> um... I actually need to sit this that, that, and that. Okay. Cut. And it is now an orb's turn. Oh no! Let's see which orb is it. Oh, it's this orb over here. And he. This feels me. Same time. Uh. Let's see. Is this orc intelligence enough? Intelligence enough to realize that the monk needs killing? No. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, he will instead go for the cleric. This is not good for the monk or for the orc's lifespan. I understand this, but the orc rolled a four and he missed it. It would have missed the monk anyway, so it's fine. That's life, right? 
It is now Tria's turn, and she has a torp on her back. Not literally. Yeah. Though. Um, give me just a second, Cal, and I haven't forgotten. Uh, just Don't forget. to see. Did you forget to roll for Sambub again? I have indeed forgotten Sambub, because sometimes... You just noticed. <laughs> anyway, he's going to last regardless. Good, okay. <laughs> he's right after Oops. It's fine. Trying to find out if Channel Divinity is uh is an action or a bonus action. I can't it is. Remember. It is an action. Okay. All right. And it's ranged around thirty feet, I believe. If you're thinking about the doing one, it's straight on your page. Uh, preserve life. Oh, okay. Yeah. Five times your cleric level, so it's way Yes. And the range of it is around. Uh, for sure. What does Orlock want to set again? 30 feet of you. Uh. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do You know what? What Thrun said in chat is probably the smartest idea I ever saw right now. So congratulations, Ender. You get control of Sambo. Oh? His character sheet is yours to enjoy. Yay! Okay. That'll work. Well, he's so violent looking. Alright, I am going to uh, uh, move to get within... All right, but if you move away from the orc range, he can hit you. I don't think I need to move out of his range. Oh wait, no, I don't have to move at all because nice. Talon's within range. Cool. Yeah. All right. All right. So I am gonna use my channel divinity and just throw the full thing at at Chandra. Uh, so that would be twenty. Yes. And then as a Bonus action. Vendor Disha, you are now fully healed. Yay! How do you lose all that health again? Eh. Oh, I can't do that either. Okay. Uh. Or that. You know what? Screw it. That's my turn. <laughs> um. Anyway, it's now the Avalar, sir. Uh, I'm going to go up and... Uh, let's see, hold up. Smack and work. No, no, no. I'm going to do something a little bit creative here. Oh. I'm going to grapple that org. Orc. Isn't that a versus strength throw? It's an athletics or like strength for strength, I think. I don't re remember exactly. I think Should have waited another turn. It is strength versus strength. So anyway, they started to grab one. The orc won. Well, now that's a shame. I was going to try and grab him and drag him away from the healer, but... Uh... He basically knocks her arms away. Should have right. waited for a turn for us to enlarge you. You would have had advantage. Well, that will be Havilar's attempt there. <laughs> uh, that's just about everything I can do. All right, it's the Hender, sir. Ooh, Hender. All right, well, Hender, first and foremost, is starting to learn how dangerous he can be. 
So he's going to move out here. <laughs> While he uh, readies a blast. And then he is going to cast on the Orug? Orug or whatever? Orog. Or Orog, thank you. He's going to cast Chaos Bolt. That's a miss, Sam. Mm, can we use chaos stuff to give ourselves well no whatever it's already it's already rolled anyway that's yeah, a, it's also a, that's also a first level spell it's true it's true he's very right all right 24 so that equals out to our skin turning a vibrant shade of blue we've we've seen this before guys it's cool so you're a blueberry yes some weird blue hobbit for now, like like some Oompa Loompa or something, yeah. <laughs> um, um, can we add can we add that effect to the to the uh, spell that you have to go Oompa Loompa? No, it's not a spell. It, it's just an effect that happens in sorcery. Do, do their sorcery things. And yeah. well, anyway, doesn't that require like um? A remove curse to remove? Yes. Yeah. Wait, if that requires a remove curse, did he ever turn back from being blue the first time? No. It was never explicitly stated. We just assumed somebody had a remove curse on hand or something. Yeah, I don't think any of us are high enough level to actually cast that. How much is a remove curse potion or whatever? A lot. Oh, well, then Kender's probably still been blue this entire time and nobody's <laughs> mentioned it. Uh, <laughs> yes. It's really weird that it doesn't have a time because I just checked the wild surge table and there's no time limit on it. No, so. no, it's... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and, oh, Space and for... also just for uh, future, if you guys... If you are if you are blue, um, this is just for like any future thing. If you don't get removed curse and you roll that roll again, you roll a different one. Just, just a little bit of uh, quality of life there. Because oh, in, uh, chaotic, in chaotic roll, we like to have different chaos effects. That's not a quality of life thing. That just gives you another chance to curse us with a fireball. That's a quality of life for you. <laughs> it's also fair. Honestly, we would have thought that if we rolled blue again, you would just change it to a new obnoxious color. Hold on. I you have a what? counter here. I have a counter here because we didn't allow for Hinder to re-roll when he got something that didn't affect him in our benefit. Ah. Because there was, we had full HP, and there was this thing that said that it added HP however many dice you rolled. And yeah, that was like 3d10 it. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, but it also didn't give us temporary hit points, so it, it was just like a nothing thing. Yeah. So I'm voting for us being consistent and having it stay nothing. Yeah. Mm, okay. But if, if he does roll out again, instead of being blue, it'll just be another color. Yeah. So that's fine. Yeah. That one we can go with, yeah. Make him hot pink. <laughs> Lime <laughs> green and safety orange. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this can be a theme. We can, ro we can roll with that one. Is it my turn? I'm ready to do a thing. Wait, I would have just thought that he would keep turning blue until he just turned, like, black or something. Um... Yes, it is Moosert's turn. Yeah. What about, uh... Um, what Sa about Sam, Sam Bob is after Moosert. Okay. Because he has a six. Okay, yeah. right. Hmm, what should I do here? I think... There is, there's one person who that nothing has happened to yet. I think that I'm going to focus on him. Hi, buddy. Um, <laughs> I am going to move over here for two seconds so I can get a clear line of sight. And then I am going to Eldritch Blast. That, yeah. Is that 15 a hit? Yes. Yay! Um, so that's a cantrip, which means that it's a basic spell that I can use at any time unless I'm prevented from using magic. It doesn't require spell slots, and it's the Warlock's main form of attack, especially at low levels. 
and it does 13 damage. Um, it doesn't have any super special stuff aside from Agonizing Blast. So after I did that, uh, I have moved 15 feet. I'm just going to move back to where I was, and that is my turn. Okay, so it is now... Is, where's the turn order? There's the turn order. I'm using the turn order. Where's the turn I may have lost the turn order. Don't worry, we've done it before, too. Oh, there it is. I'm me. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, it is now Sandbox's turn. And Sandbox Yay. is going to go. First, he has to, uh, roll a thing. Like, oh, I don't know. Uh, what thing? An intelligence roll to find out what he does. Because Sandbox. 14. Ah, uh, that's perfect enough because he will go over here and do things. Awesome. Okay, roll his attack rolls. Alright, first the battle axe. That's Oh my hit. goodness. <laughs> um, yeah, wow. And uh, his, um, damage isn't. Just well, roll the attack button in chat. Huh? Oh, yes. Thank you. Alright. Wow, that's basically minimum damage. I mean, he has a high high strength roll in it. So. Yeah. He, he would have had to roll three and then... Anyway, he also has a second one. A mooring star. That's also it. Nice. Not a morning star, a boring star, which we like even better, honestly. So this orc is dead. Crushed. Totally crushed. Um, hold on one tiny itty bitty second. Okay. Anyway, it is this orc, the remaining orc, certainly. This remaining orc. Is dead, as as can be said, and I have to go and check the thing. Um, so this is going to be fun. Oh boy. So while you all are fighting, for the the orcs over there, there is <clears throat> an odd-looking sight behind you. Oh no! As there is an aura and into the into the clearing where you are. There is a strange sight of an Orog with a dragon boy of similar color to your to your friend Havilar over there. Oh no! And he, he he's wielding a massive hammer, the likes of which you've never seen before, and he goes. I sense that you have acquired and gained power from evil artifacts. I will crush you. you <laughs> and we just grind you into dust for the pride of using dangerous power. Dude, we just we just found this stuff, okay? Like we don't even we don't even know. So why are you trying to kill us? Isn't that the evil thing? Hender will cackle. 
at him. <laughs> All right. Like, um, so it's still uh the living orc's turn. I think, yes. And <coughs> here we go again. It's uh, um. This orc will just throw a javelin at Shandisha. What? What did I do? Uh, because you, <laughs> you killed a number of people. I only killed oh, one. Oh, and that's a hit. Oh, well, like let's see. Four. That is... Okay, yeah. Well, I mean, it's only four damage. Alright. Boss battle time! Let's mm. go. Duel of the Fates begin. Andrew Disha, it's your turn. Okay, why is this annoying little pest? <laughs> uh, the orc javelin's over there. And here's an Ordog in front of you. He's not dead yet. No. Uh. Not even. You only killed one more. This guy's still huge. Alright, fine. I am going to, uh, whack him with my sword. Also, I don't have 11 hit points. I have, like, what is it? 23. I already have it on your token. So, we're good. Itch. Okay. Um, let's see. Alright, so I'm going to use my short sword. That's a miss. Alright, well then I'll use a key point to do two of these. Okay, both of those are hits. Roll the heaven. Seventeen, you love to see it. <laughs> that's pretty good damage, yes. So that's your turn? Uh, yeah, that's my turn. Alright. Uh, which orog is it? Oh, it's that one that just hit. Okay, cool. So he will attack you, or try, twice. Unfortunately, your AC is massive. So he misses. But it's that's... A, it's a good AC, I mean, that's what happens when you get agility, I guess. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's this orog's turn. And there's a headgear over here. Yes, indeed. And he will great at you. Well, oh. one of them will miss. Yes. For six slashes. Uh. <clears throat> and then it's Jab Rock. Well, the box, the actual box turn. And, and he. Will activate a thing that he has, which I believe is possible. Oh no. Malakath's blessing. Malakath's here? Where's Malakath? We need to kill the rapist. That's Molag Ball. Molag Ball? Molly Bolly. Molly Ball. Anyway. He's going to go over here towards the sorcerer. Attacking with Baldwin. And he has a The sorcerer's down. Oh. What, where are we at? Oh, well, we suppose we're at zero hit points because we just go to six death saves, right? Yep. Okay, okay. Because that, the second attack doesn't instantly kill you, you're just down. But like how many people have been drawing little lines at us this whole time? Mm -hmm. Like, okay, how quickly can I get to Hender? <laughs> 
Uh, I mean, for me, it's just checking. Oh, I actually could get to Ender. <laughs> you could get to Ender. And, and then uh, he moved like only like five feet, so he can then. I think so. Yeah, he was close to here. Huh? Okay, he can move like up to there. Yep. Yep. Man, we just got am bitterly ambushed. I love to see. It. Anyway, it's true. Okay, give me a minute here. Uh, uh, I'm gonna say, I love that um, Ender was bodied really hard. <laughs> yeah, only because we didn't have the sea invisibility effect still on. I mean, they weren't invisible. We just got ambushed, that's all. Yeah. Who'd want to ambush us anyway? Like, aren't green skins supposed to be evil? You could be evil and want to ambush people, Alan. Why wouldn't you want to ambush people if you were evil? Well, no, I mean, in this case, they were like, oh, you have evil Daedric artifacts, therefore we must uh, destroy you for all the good yada yada yada. Stop interrupting. Also, don't be racist. Well, I'm being a racist. <laughs> They're green skin. They're... It's what you expect of them. <laughs> That's... Okay. I'm going to cast Healing Word on Hender at, oh, what is the top that I can do? Two. As a level two. Twelve. Fifteen. Fifteen. Back then... in the game, baby. Give me just a second here. Uh, because I know I can do something else. Uh, and I still have spiritual weapon out, so I'm going to use it to attack. What? Um, whatever. Where? Where? Where was it originally? Because it only moved twenty feet. I haven't really moved all that much, so I don't know. All right. So you can't or front, so it would be able to move twenty feet, right? Yes, you, you can send it over there. I might need, like, a, your holy weapon to Is that something to do with weapons? Anyway, so, uh, roll spirit. Actually, you can't. Actually, you can't. That's a separate thing. It is a oh. bone. Wait, healing word is a bonus action, and controlling spirit weapon is a bonus action, isn't it? I don't know. That was never defined for me. I know that I can cast it. I know that it counts as an action when I use it. It counts as a bonus action. Uh, yeah. Casting time one bonus action, you create a floating spectral weapon within range that lasts for the duration or until you cast the spell again. When you cast the spell, you make a melee spell attack against a creature within five feet on hit. Uh, the target takes... Uh, as a bonus action on your turn, you can move the weapon up to twenty feet and repeat attack. Repeat the attack against a creature within five feet of it. Oh what yeah, about and word? yeah, moving it is a bonus action. Right. Yeah, healing word is okay, a bonus so action. I can't. So I, I can't do that. Okay, I'll do toll the dead. <laughs> Double fives. Eh, better than nothing. Anyway, he makes a wisdom save. Which he passes. He doesn't even hear the bell. What it's bell? Fine. He's deaf. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, it's the Havilar turn. Havilar. There's, so a, Havilar. there's a challenger. 
Yeah, have will mm-hmm. move up to his uh, to this dragonborn, but he moves up cautiously, like very slowly. Uh, he has his shield kind of propped up, but it looks hesitant with his sword hand, and he's like, "What's this evil you speak of, brother? You know I serve good." And yeah, that's he's just trying to talk to his brother as he uh, moves forward. Uh, Let's have a turn. Uh, All right, so um. I'm just going to do a bit of role play now. So anyway, Davros goes, you have a leather jacket of mad shale glass. I sense from you the power of Hermaeus Mora. What's good? The order is corrupt. They betrayed their values or coin from nobles. And what are you doing here? Playing some hero, some gladiator, you have betrayed the values of our god. And I serve now Malachath, who will, will bring about equality to the races oppressed by the majority. And that's what he says. Well, at least I'm not a green skin. Uh, he's, he's, not, he's not a green skin. He's a dragon boy. Oh, the, okay. Pay attention. Anyway, it's uh, Hendry's turn. Boy, so... And Hendry, you have an Orog over here. Is this Orog a sorcerer? No. Or was that the other dragonborn? Uh, the dragonborn is a paladin. Okay. Oh, no, fair enough. Um. So we are going to take. We suppose it's whenever the GM chooses a Tides of Chaos, Wild Magic, Surge Chaos roll. Um, to give ourselves an advantage on a Chaos Bolt on this Orog right on top of us. So, uh, uh, I have. Uh, it, isn't it because it's a range spell? It has like disadvantage on something. Do range spells have disadvantage when you fire at them close range or something? Uh, could anyone help me with this question? That'd be cool. Thank you. Yeah, I'm trying to look it up. Give me a sec here. Thank you, Drag. You're a champion. Uh... All right, Greg, that's the thing you went for. Okay, thank you. I'll look at that in a second as well. Okay. Oh, melee attacks range. Uh, you can range attacks when you make a range attack. Range, range spell attacks in melee. Aim, aiming a ranged attack is more difficult when a foe is next to you. When you make a ranged attacks with a weapon, a spell, or some other means, you have advantage on the attack roll if you're within five feet of a hostile creature who can see you and who isn't incapacitated. Mm-hmm. So you would ha- naturally have disadvantage. Mm. And, uh, okay, so in that case, we'll just level it out to be normal. Which is fine with us. Gonna chaos bolt with an undulating, warbling mass of chaotic energy at the guy right next to us. That's a... Wasn't that also... Okay, that was a normal roll. That was because a we're hit. Chaos, yeah. Okay. That's a hit. So roll damage. At level one. So, uh, choose the one or the five. The one or the five. Oh man, definitely five. We're gonna go lightning. I am dead with the Waba Jack. Um, okay, now roll your D100. Yes. And this is what happens. Yes, good. 
Technically, would we be rolling two D one hundreds? Sorry, Tria. Um, no, this one. Oh darn. Okay. For the next minute, all spells with a casting time of one action have a casting time of one bonus action. That means you can, I mean, technically, <laughs> technically, you could only cast one spell now. Well, that it. No, we can cast two cam trips. There, can we? No, it, all your spells are bonus actions. Can you get one bonus action only? Uh, well. Well, that means you don't have to spend sorcery points to quicken them now. But now, That's none, true. Of them, now none of them are actions. Well, we just used an action, so we're going to follow it up with um... a bonus action for free pineapple. Yeah, basically, that's at, that's kind of where we're going. At disadvantage. Uh, no, actually, we're going to cast a shocking grasp oh, with a critical hit. Oh. oh, we love to see it. Oh, yeah, and since he's wearing metal, it technically is a normal roll. So, PC crit deck the go. Yes. Maximum and damage. And the target has yeah. disadvantage on saving throws against the spells for 1d4 rounds. So, so, roll a 1d4. And what's the maximum damage on stopping the rest? Uh, 1d8. So it's it's 8. So he takes 8 damage. And he has nice. disadvantage against you for 3 rounds. Ooh, unlimited power, bro. What have you even got? Just lightning do Palpatine style. Oh, uh, we're, we're done. <laughs> Alright, the you know, oh, advantage if the target's yeah. wearing armor made of metal doesn't have any other kind of thing. Okay, that's what I was kind of wondering. <coughs> anyway, it is now the search turn. Hmm. So, what should I do in this situation? Um, can Save someone, the sorcerer. Um, can someone? Okay. So, is the is the mad lad next to the sorcerer stunned? Is that no. What no. Okay. Well, um, I'm still gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try to help out the sorcerer before yeeting myself out of the situation. Um. So. I am going to go ahead and just cast Eldritch Blast over at the Urag. Gonna try to help deal some damage. Um, ooh, a 22 is a nice hit. Um, oh, max damage! You love to see it. <laughs> on limited power. I see the situation that's going on, and I'm just confused by the other Dragonborn, and I see that the Sorcerer fell down and then was almost immediately rezzed. So I'm just like, mm -mm. I should probably do something to help the sorcerer. I raise my hand in the direction of the Urog, and I just watch as an energy, as like a blast of energy explodes out of my hand and flies into the Urog. And then I can also move after that. I unfortunately don't have any super cool bonus action spells that would be super useful right now. So I am just going to go ahead and move. I have a movement speed of 30. Let me see where I can get with that movement speed. Um, I can get, I know where I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna go over here. And even from over here, I can still Eldritch Blast this guy. So I'm not right. exactly worried. Um, and then I'm just going to watch that situation. If I need to intervene, I will intervene to try and save the Sorcerer. But I think the Sorcerer's got it for right now. Anyway, it's the Eden turn, and the sorcerer has control of said Eden. And the Eden has a movement speed of four feet. We uh we think the Eden would be wise to plant himself right here, where he can get the full display of murder happiness, just like an Eden likes. Correct us if we're wrong, anybody. Uh, and uh, he's gonna attack the Orog for a battle axe. That's... Technically, this is a GM list, so... However, you know... Um, all attacks against you have advantage for 1d6 rounds, but, uh, roll that 
damage does that special ability or the critical really matter? Oh yeah, oh, I, my God, no. he is dead, this Orog is dead. Just, just gone. Well, the, um... He still has a second attack. Yeah, the other guy's right next to him, so, uh, Moringstar probably this, doesn't hit, but that's fine. It completely misses this enemy paladin. He's our hero, that's all that matters. Alright. It is now the final orc's turn. And this final orc. And yeah, let's see. Oh, hmm. What, what do I want to do? Does he even want to be here? I don't know. I don't know <laughs> what he wants to do. Let's see, there is a 20 foot, 5 and 25 foot away warlock. There's a 25 foot away. Way easy. There's things I. <laughs> the Uther says this, but. I think I should have added a little bit more herbs. A little bit more. So you guys are just blocking these things really easily, and I hate it. <laughs> anyway, uh, this orc is. As a bonus action, he can just run straight over to Trio over Sanjo here, and great ass oh. for a miss. For a miss. Oh. <laughs> Sanjo is the MVP of the party. Not this time around, no. Anyway, it's Sanjo Disha. All right, and. Let's kill the Orlock. Or Rog. Let's kill the Orc Lock. <laughs> You're trying to mix Warlock with Orc together, and this is incorrect. <laughs> Alright, time to kill the Orc Lock. Let's see, Orc Lock. <laughs> anyway, just, right. just roll your attacks. Uh, that's a miss. Alright, I'm gonna use another key point. And do that. That's also a miss. And that's a miss. Great. Well, you get some, you lose some. Uh, yeah, that's my turn. Alright, it is the surviving aura turn. I mean, Luciano, you say that, and it's like, every time. Except for that one time. Barely anyone lives from my side. So, you know what? This is. Uh. I mean, this is kind of a not really moment. But anyway. Um. This Polrog gets, like, a natural one! I'm going to draw that bundle first before the second attack. Off your target and strikes you in the face. You have disadvantage in your next attack. Okay, disadvantage, here we go. So did Jabroth do that, or was that the Arog? It's the Orog. Okay. I just uh, I just have him as his name right now, because that's the main boss right now. Oh. Um, anyway, that 21's still a hit. Or 13 slash it. Uh, which means that 20 points of HP that Alan has. Now gone. Oof. Yeah, I'm gonna need some healing. It's fine. <laughs> anyway, it's Jabroth's turn. And, um, watch it. And, um, oh hey, I'm gonna give the floor to Havilar. Because what happened to Havilar? Which is the argument that I roleplay really well. Yes, yeah, so I had Zalra uh, roll a persuasion earlier with advantage against Havilar, and I uh, insight checked it, and Havilar rolled a nat one. On oh no! I check. So Havilar has at this point like dropped his sword, and he looks entirely broken as he's been swayed by what his brother has said. 
No, he doesn't look like he's going to attack his brother. In fact, Havilar looks like he's soul searching really hard at the moment. Oh no. Havilar's been breaking for the last like four sessions, dude. Oh no. Yep. So yeah, that's that's the state of Havilar. Like his weapon like fell into the ground. He's still holding his shield. He looks very somber. Uh, and just like if you were to look at his eyes, they're glazed over as he doesn't seem to be here. He's entirely in his own head, working things out. All right, because Hapala is sees that you're well doing that thing. He's not going to attack you because he still has like well your brothers for one thing, and two. He, he won't attack someone who's not going to attack him. Because there's still that bit of hell in those going on. So, he will then just go back over to Hender. What? Come on, Don! You're, you're up. Therefore, you get attacked. This is what happens. <laughs> So, um, Baldwin. Oh my goodness. 14, you're down. Oh no, you're not down. Who's there? 14. And. Jeez. He will. I think I will just call them. This time for ten, so you're down again. Really? Yes. Oh my goodness, come on, there's a literal two-headed giant next to you, fool. What the fuck? Fuck are you? Um, <laughs> it's... Hey, you know that meme where you only use it to prevent dungeon fires? Technically, <laughs> you're the wizard in this encounter. <laughs> oh. And, uh, it's not trees, sir. Sanja, help us. I'm working on it. <laughs> oh my god. That's not frustration with you. There is a spell <laughs> that I could use that would be helpful long term, but I'm having to do temporary band aid fixes and it is frustrating. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to go with. Don't let us be another Ella Tunar. <laughs> Go uh, with healing word. Uh, at level two. How did you need to roll double perception? Alright, twelve. And then Oh, that was a bonus action. So what can I do? Okay. I, I did not told the dead. Perception, sorry, I uh, missed clicking. Told the dead on uh this one. All right. So wisdom. Oh, signs or hits. So he takes. What in the code One. One easily tiny hit. <laughs> you know what? I know I'm gonna get an attack of opportunity, but I am gonna go over towards uh towards the dragon board. <laughs> All right, so great. This is twenty hit. Oh, hold on. I think it does. I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah, it does. All right. Before you leave, you take a great axe to your back. That's fine. Another six. All right. So. Is now Havilar. Havilar, what are you going to do? 
at this point, like Havilar re picks up his sword. And, like there's a little bit of fire in his eyes as he looks forward towards his brother, and he says, "You may be right, but I won't let you slaughter my friends." As he uh, moves over to the downed monk Chandradisha. She's not uh, downed yet. Oh it's well, really hurt. Well, here you go, because 20 points of lay on hands healing goes to Chandra as Havilar awesome. runs up and places the, like his shield up on your back and heals your wounds, embraces his sword to, to help you deal with the Orog. Awesome. Thanks. We'll kill him next turn. Uh, and also, Havilar has a uh, bonus action spell that I can use. Uh, I'll cast Shield of Faith. Uh, Shield of Faith gives a plus two AC boost. And we're going to put that on Tria. All right. Tria is... Um, it's, oh, yeah, that works. So, plus two is... <coughs> That's concentration. So, if you get hit, you have to do contest. And I believe it's like over 10 you pass. You think? Uh yeah, it's it's that or the uh like if the damage is greater than ten, uh something like that. I'll look it up for the for sure. All right. Say. All right. So anyway, it is now Havilar. Havilar, you have an enemy at the Hender. Well, that, that was my uh, yeah. Sorry, Hender. Yeah. Yes, Hender. So we're gonna do a quick in. Uh, Net so, wisdom. Nice. Okay. Okay. So Hender doesn't break yet. Hender is not accustomed to being hit a lot or being knocked down. Um. So he'll he'll chuckle <laughs> and disengage with an action since he can do that. Yes. And then oh one moment actually one two three four okay yes yeah that's sorry. And then, and then, as his laughter descends from a joyous chuckle to full-on Joker laugh, he casts in large reduce on Sam Bub. Sam Bub increases in dimensions twice in every dimension. So he becomes that big. No, four by four. Uh He's <laughs> that is a big arc. Oh, it's not time. an orc. He's a uh, Etten. They're all the same intelligence. No. <laughs> anyway. Um. Oh yeah. DC 100, then. Oh, yes. We are, we are aware. 51. What does 51 do? A spectral shield hovers near us for the next minute, granting us a plus 2 AC and immunity to magic missile. Who got none of these things have a uh, magic missile? But, uh... Actually, we're just getting super beast, though, for all of our uh, chaos stuff here. We're channeling our inner Palpatine. We love it. Uh, I accidentally added way more AC than you actually did. But now you're at plus 16. You're at 16 AC. Yeah. All right, then. That's your turn, right? Yes. All right. So it is Usurp's turn. Usurp, there's one final living orc and an aura over here. Oh, uh, so I hmm, there. I see the Eaton uh, turn gigantic, and I think to myself, "Huh, that Eaton probably has that situation." I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try to finish off the Urog. Um, I am going to first cast uh, Hexblade's Curse on it, um, which okay. uh, which is a bonus action and does a lot of neat stuff. Um, I gain, ooh, so, um, since, actually, no, I'm going to cast it on the Urog. I'm just going to try to finish it off, um, so, and hopefully get some bonus stuff so from it. So, set your crit. 
So like nine your crit is nineteen. That's a hit, I think, but it that, wasn't a nineteen. That, that that is a hit, yes. Yeah. Um so that means I deal fourteen damage. Let me make sure that I don't get any extra bonus damage. I don't uh, think I did. You get your proficiency as you do your damage, remember? Oh. Uh so in that case that's it's actually 16. 15. Yeah. Sixteen, man. Is it dead? Do I get my bonus HP? No. Oh, well, um, seeing the situation over there and seeing how it's mostly handled, I am going to just turn to the Urag. I see that it's still alive. This thing has a lot of HP. And I am going to fire a blast at it, and then I am also just going to, uh, let's see, what's 30 feet? Yes, kill the Orlock. Uh, I'm going to move 30 feet away. Because I have very long range, I can snipe from almost anywhere in this map. You love to see it. You know, for a hex play, you like sniping things instead of I do things like sniping things with, it's fun with to your snipe. weapon. That's fine. <laughs> you have a, a a spectral magic weapon. That's true. That I still like never, that you never use. I know, but if I have to sni- if I have to get up close to things, then things can attack me. That's the point. So you have lots of things to see. So what you're saying is, is that your character is a coward. Yeah, I'm fine with that. My character lives. <laughs> you're like 19 AC though. You barely get hit. That's fine. I also don't get critical hits, even if someone does get a natural 20 on me because I have an adamantian shield. I like that for me. I like staying alive. Uh, at the same time, you still get health damage and they fall. That's true. I- I'm fine taking hits, and I'm, like, relatively beefy. Most one hits, unless it's someone like that guy, probably <laughs> won't knock me down in one hit. Alright, um, so it is the Etten, sir, and so Etten does stuff. Wait, does this mean I get to treat Usurp like Balder and just throw stuff at him and see if it hits? Technically, yes. Oh, well, maybe. <laughs> but would your character know about Balder? A god from a different pantheon. I mean, he, a separate she, she, w- she wouldn't even really have to know the myth of uh, Balder. Uh, she could just get this really strange desire to just throw stuff at Usurp. So... <laughs> Sam Bub is going to go buck wild with this battle axe. That's oh, a miss. That is a miss, it's true. And now buck it's wild morning with style. morning star. That's also, which is a, miss. also a miss. We hate to see it. <laughs> love to see it. But at least he's standing between us and the enemy. That's what matters. He's uh, really, really big. Alright. So it's now the orc turn. But the orcs do stuff. Like, um... Oh. <laughs> I am a chaos lord. Yes, I am. And I'm gonna try and hit Booster with the javelin, which oh. is a miss. But it's okay, because this orc won't live all that long. And now Sandra Disha's turn. I'm gonna say for the Myconids. <laughs> How would your character know about my minutes? And you're the one who killed all of them last time. I did not. I don't know what you're talking about. I was all there, right. and it's recorded. That's it. Nice. And that's a PC crit hits, which means death gained. Quadruple damage. Um, even without quadruple damage, this overall death. Wow. So I just move up and I say, you know, I'm tired of this, and I just stab him through the heart, and and I um, say to him, so, and as he's dying, I say to him, so um, what was your two us to begin with? Bleh. Bleh. Yes. And then I just toss the arc aside and say, eh, well, all's done in a day's work. Uh, is there anyone else that's being a problem? It's like a dragonborn over here. And an orc attacking you, sir. Yes. Well, Usurp has 19 AC. He can handle himself. 
Also, you have like 40 feet of movement, so you can go over to that book if you wanted to. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go over to that arc and I'm going to say, um, hey, I got this, uh, I'm feeling really, I feel like I have a lot of key at the moment. You so, can also uh, punch the orc. Uh, where's the orc? Is that's the Dragonborn. Yeah. He was north, but then again, Usur has the orc. Yeah, Usur has the orc. I'm just going to go over here and uh, say, hey, uh, why are you attacking us? And then I'm just going to go ahead and punch. You'd actually have to move up there. But anyway. Alright, uh, let's see. I'm going to use a key point. I'm going to punch twice. Oh. Alright. One, two. Uh, the second hit is the hit. And I'm just gonna knock him down. <laughs> you don't see it at the same time. It, it would be kind of cool if you guys could, like, not say, the, say that they're all the same, but the cool thing is. Huh? Who's all the same? What? Who's surfing the chat? I can handle the art. No one in this campaign knows what anything is or art dragon was. <laughs> right, exactly. I don't see a difference. I, I, even I, ha I have messed up, Boozer. Don't, don't play this me. game with me. <laughs> 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 don't, don't play that game with me. In fact, I think that Dragonborn has green scales, so green scales, green skin, they're the same thing. No, he has... He has red. He has red. He has gold scales. Ah, uh, that's close enough. It's brass, same as Havilah. Yes, brass. <laughs> anyway, um, it's now Jaffroth's turn, and Jaffroth is going to do a thing because he has a very special power when it comes to his rage. Which is cool. Also, I uh, kind of. For Got that? Oh, let's see. So, kind of semi forget on occasion that this guy has a really cool ability because of because he's an orc. No, he's not an orc. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> he is. I don't see the difference. <laughs> I'm is that my adorable doggy in the background. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. I'm yes. wrestling with him. Anyway, he's going to cast branding mites and then he's going to fall in run. The monk. He gets that twice with his extra turn. And both of those are unfortunate misses. That's a really low roll. That's yeah, that's because orcs can't hit worth a damn. He's not an orc. <laughs> anyway. Um. Alright, cool, cool. Sometimes three things. And, uh, that's Javrot's turn. Can you be quiet, Sandy? Doug doesn't approve of Javrot's turn. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Or, or, or her. I don't know, Sandy. How's everybody on HP? I'm doing all right. Okay. Ever, um, except for uh, Ender. Ender's like. Yeah, Ender, Ender took a big hit from that orc, so he gave well, some HP. Okay. The, 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 pal the enemy paladin. Let's go with that. We like how you said took a big hit as if Hender didn't just get completely smacked Bodied like twice. Like 12 okay. Um, okay. Uh, 
Pender, I'm sorry, but you're not down, and I have used a lot of my spell slots, so I promise that if you go down, I will come get you. It's fine. Um, I look at the dragonborn in front of me and say, I am really not appreciative of whatever mind games you've been playing on Havilar. And then do inflict wounds. Oh, oof. No, that's a hit. All right, good. Hold on a second. Let me see. All right, so I'm going to do that actually. Just uh, like the wounds in the chat. Yeah, well, I was checking to see if I could do it at a higher level, but I can't. All right. So, um, after you cast that on him, he does. Let's see. What do I want to do? Ah, uh, you know what? That sounds like a good one. <clears throat> That's a miss. No, you have to do a deck save, pal. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that. Hold on. Oof, dex. Uh-oh. I have zero dex. Yeah. So you take 15. Okay. Oof. Just served it up as good as he took it. And, um, um he has that to was do, only... he has to do a constitution save, because concentration. But he manages to pass. Um, I am going to, because that was only a bonus action, I am going to do a healer's kit on myself. Uh, you don't have to roll the kit for that. Okay, yeah, I forgot. Which I always find weird. But anyway, um, it says in the thing for healer's kits. Which I believe is 1d6 plus 4 plus the amount of hit die you have. Is it total or current? I believe it was current. Right? It says in the healer. So I. Maximum number of hit dice. So 1d6 plus 8. Which. Which I believe is already in your text and spell text. Yeah, I'm about to feel like I can't work. Oh, come on. All plus, right. plus, <laughs> plus eight, Tria. Still. So, 1d6 plus eight, so, is it that two? It, so, uh, two plus eight is ten. You got ten H. So you're at 19. Alright. Is that the end of your turn? Yeah. Alright. It's Havilar. Havilar is going to support Uther as he hasn't come to terms with fighting his brother. Uh, so Havilar goes running up uh, and throws a javelin. And that's uh, a hit. He's also smiting on that. So uh, smite and. A javelin. That was a waste of a smite, Sam. Nah, because <laughs> the, the smite that Havilar uh, has here is not the same as his other smites. Like, usually it's like this flashy, golden, super, ra- like, amazing... No, no, no. I'm saying it was killed by the javelin without the smite. Oh, I was going to have the, the smite be a different, like, a different color reflecting his inner resolve in this... <laughs> It was a waste of a smite trap. That's what I meant to say. Anyway, uh, uh, it, it glows on the corpse, and you just you, you just burn the corpse after you kill it. Yeah, I guess it'll stay dead. <laughs> uh, that'll it be a turn. All right. 
Hender. Hender. Well, Hender is largely safe from getting body to get balled around. Dude, we got like like you know those those like ball that you slap with the the paddle balls. He just got paddle balled, dude. Like that's, dip, why, dip, I, dip, that's dip. why I said bot. Because you put nuts on oh, several times. So so a dash is an action, right? Yes. Unless you're a rogue. The rogue did that as a bonus action. Hi, Usurp. We're going to be over here for now. Hope you don't mind. And we're going to... Hey, how's it going? Uh, you know how it is. Like, really screwed up. Uh, we're going to cast a Chaos Bolt on Javroth. That's a miss. What? Yes. Okay, fair enough. Him and Havilar Should you... are on the same cloth, you know. Oh, All right, true. so uh, well, that's a level one spell. So eighteen, we grow a long beard made of feathers that remains until we sneeze. At which point, the feathers explode out from our face. <laughs> we don't, we don't know about anybody else, but we think that sounds super awesome. <laughs> that's not a benefit. That's simply not even a beneficial or detrimental. That's just silly. Funny. It's beneficial to our mood right now, so. <laughs> anyway, so it's an Usurp's turn. So now that all the orcs are dead, Usurp is going to turn his attention to Havilar, <laughs> and uh, like he can see, um, he can see that there's some stuff going on over here, and he's just going to uh, approach his trident brother, um, and he's going to be like, uh, Havilar. What is going on? Is there a reason why you're not fighting the stranger? He's my brother. <gasps> yeah, I'm not raising a blade against him. Do you think that this is a situation that we can resolve without violence, or is this only going to end one way? Uh, Havilar, like, takes his longsword and, like, throws it into the ground, and he just goes, he's fucking right, and I shouldn't be here. And that's that's about the most you're gonna get from him. All right, so I moved. I need oh, to do. No. I need to do some stuff right now. I moved. I was. So here. what we really need is a high charisma check to convince him to come over to our side. I'm here right now. Um, I am. I have 20 feet of movement speed. I am going to go Don't over you have here. 30 feet of movement speed. Yes, but I already moved 10 feet. Oh. So yeah, that's the reason. Um, I am going to. Uh, attempt a persuasion check to try and dissuade this, to try to stop this from ending without any more violence. I am going to look over at the strange dragonborn. I don't know if any of us have actually heard his name, so I'm going to assume that I don't know it. Um, I don't think that any of us have heard his name yet, aside from Drag, who knows it. We um, could we could retcon and say when I threw the sword down, I said Javroth is right. Okay, so. cool. Uh, thank you. Appreciate that. Um, I'm going to look over at Javaroth and I'm going to be like, put down your arms. All of your friends have died and we're not your enemies. There's no reason that this needs to come to blows. And then I'm going to make a persuasion. That's not great, so it's probably not going to work. I'm going to look at you confused because I rolled a 9 and say, why are you saying this to the orc? Well, I wasn't. <laughs> not I was clear. an orc. Also... Yeah, I figured. That's fine. I'm gonna keep trying, because uh, at this point, mm, I don't like this situation. If I have to do this for two more turns, then I will enter the fight. But honestly, I doubt it'll take that long. Uh... Alright, so... That is, that is my turn. Um, quick, hold on a second, because I've been doing something incorrectly. But anyway, oh, these damn orcs! He's not an orc. I rolled a nine on my perception, so I think he's an orc. You can see that he has scales, and is therefore not an orc. <laughs> Wait, that DC is only five. Damn. Yes. Uh, it's that obvious. <laughs> anyway, um, the obvious. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's the Ethne's turn. So we think it's reasonable 
at this point if the Etten rolls what a wisdom to figure out that we're talking now instead of fighting because talking is now happening to some degree what would would that would that perception would it, hold on okay i thought it was going to sneeze for a second would that not okay. be an intelligence check uh, that's what we're asking you. Uh, it's um, one or the other. Um, you know, it's it's cool either way. Okay, I don't like it when my microphone keeps so crazy. Anyway, uh, well, that would be double intelligence because they have two intelligence. Heads. All right. It's oh, up, geez. Up, up to you to determine which uh which one, Sam or Bob, roll that eight. And that eight well, failure. We, we think we think Sam generally comes first in the name categorying, so we'll say eight was the Sam and Bub was the seventeen. Seems reasonable. Seems fair. So does that mean Sam swings and Bub goes, "Hey, what the hell, friend?" Something like that, we would assume. Yeah. So battle axe. We'll say Sam's in control of the battle axe and Bub's in control of the Morning Star. Yeah, that's fine with me. Okay, sure, sure, cool. Uh, oh no! That's oh. A hit. oh no! Okay, two seconds, and we need to. Um. Oh boy. The one D four is already included. Sam. I added that over. Here. Oh. That's, that's okay. What, that's what the three is. Oh, okay. Okay. So cool. thank you. Um, uh, funny story. He has resistance to non-magic weapons because he's in red. Okay, okay. And so he only takes, like, half damage. No, because he has a special feat that also minuses damage from non-magic weapons. From non- from weapons. Nice. So he only takes three. He really is cut from the same cloth as Hav, isn't he? Yes. He only takes it. <laughs> Damn. I, I was okay. kind of, I was kind of forgetting about that until I realized, oh hey. I should probably be paying attention to this. Boss battle indeed. Boss battle indeed. Alright, so um is that Sandbox turn? Right? It, we think it is. We think it's Sam Bob's turn, except for Bub, of course, immediately turns to Sam and starts bitching him out because, you know, come on, man, what the hell? All right. <laughs> um, I'm just going to look at him and say, oh, your, um, your gold skins, uh, came, aren't you? Well, uh, we can stop fighting now. There's no need to kill each other. And I'm going to roll persuasion. That's nice. Still, that's still an insight that I have to roll. Which, yeah. Very close, but uh. at the same time, he seems. I have to roll by this. This is one of those things that I have to roll by. Because, <laughs> god damn it. Um, he looks at you very puzzled. And 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 he searches inside him, but he, um, so so he goes. Hmm. You, you know, maybe we started off on the wrong foot, and considering you have an Etten here, and Ettens <laughs> are. Quite an oppressed group of giants, especially <gasps> treated really badly by the rest of our giant kid. I am going to talk to you and, and see where and, and ask you why you have this Wabaja or going around getting these daydream artifacts. <laughs> so, yeah. 
because of this uh, persuasion, which I kind of hate to see, uh, you guys are not fighting anymore. Yeah. See, yeah. This, this is how you actually do persuasion. Indeed. <laughs> I hate to see it, but <laughs> what the boss battle is over. Honestly, we thought he was going to kill us, so it's cool with us. Someone should give a good answer. Oh, I say, I look at him and say, yeah, you know, ends are kind of treated a bit poorly. So, yeah, it's best we not, uh, you know, fight to the death. Uh, as for us, to be honest, we just, we just had the demon show up right in front of us. And the demon said, uh, there are these powerful artifacts that we just threw around so that way uh, evil people could find them and then screw with the rest of the world with the said artifacts. So we're going to go ahead, collect all those artifacts, make sure they don't fall into the wrong hands. You know what I mean? That's not we, what happened. We actually have a, absolutely no happened. way of knowing that. So, that's, I mean, that that would be a good answer, but we have but, literally no way of knowing that. That's that's not what happened. What happened was in the middle of the night, well, Dr Havilar, sorry, we almost called him Dragon, oh, wait, was on yes. guard. What happened in the middle of the night while Havilar was on guard was that a great deity came to him, but Havilar was too smart, and with the help of his friends, we convinced the deity to turn the other way before kicking his ass and taking his wabajack from him, along with an amazing list of other great artifacts that we're going to go slay great evils to gain. We believe that is a charisma check, right? Or a this deception? Is, or... This yeah. Is, yeah, that's a deception, man. <laughs> <laughs> which, oh, uh, nice. Which he has the insight. <laughs> yeah! He doesn't. He doesn't. He, doesn't he, he senses a lot of hyperbole from from you, but considering um that role, he doesn't know if you're completely full of shit or not. <laughs> also, he's no he's no longer Malak has blessing or anything, so it's fine. It's okay. Hender believes what he's saying, so it's not a lie. <laughs> I really hate to see all of this. Uh, uh, this reminds me of how uh, season one ended. Yes, uh, except it's really bad. Also, I'm one. Oh, I see. I see it now. There you go. That deserves a dab. I hate to see it. Um. All right. So, um. Hey, have there's no longer murdering of your brother going on. What do you do? Havilar hasn't really noticed or gone over to you all. Uh, Havilar has sat over there, and while you have, like, attempted to negotiate with his brother, or while you have been negotiating with his brother, uh, he took off his holy symbol, threw it on the ground, and took his sword and plunged it through it. <gasps> My god, the defeating of a god is weighing more heavily on him than we could have dared imagine. Can't you see how hard the trauma has been of the experience? And I just look at Hinder and I just simply I sigh and I look over at Havilar and say you know you don't need to do that yeah uh, we're not killing your brother it's it's not just that but yeah it, it, it's, because of, it, it's because of my amazing persuasion that the that, uh, drag one of these roles Yep. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Zal, how cool are you with me changing Havilar into an Oathbreaker? <gasps> um, that's up to you, fam. Okay. I mean, <gasps> if you're cool with it, that's the path Havilar has just walked down. Like, as he would, like, smash his idol with the, the longsword, there'd probably be, like, a burst of energy and, like, Maybe even like a little bit of like fire that kind of like twirled around him briefly as he turns his back on his sacred oath. My God! In terms of rules, there's not actually uh, 
in in D and D, I know because some people have watched like Critical Role and stuff, they might think that like this is a thing that there's rules for. In fifth edition, there isn't rules for shifting your subclass mid like campaign. So this is a thing those of us who are DMs are gonna have to like think about long term. So that's gonna be fun. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're already homebrewing the hell out of all of this. Yeah, I mean, in the DMG, actually, uh, Luciano, it it outlines that, like, you an oath, uh, if a paladin, like, breaks their oath uh, and, like, turns their back on their deity, uh, they can shift into Oathbreaker, but that's at the DM's discretion, which is why I was asking Saul if that's okay. Would they Cheers, still everybody. the levels and all of that stuff? Wow. Yeah, it just changes your subtype from Oath of Vengeance to Oathbreaker. So. Huh. Yeah, yeah. Th- this is fine with me, considering it's part of your story. Cool. I'm okay with this. Yep, so that is the path that Avalar has just walked down. So, Cheers. you're going vengeance, but may I counter, may I counter instead of being worshipping Bahamut, you're, you're now going with Malachi, which is also a deity of vengeance. Uh, does that work for you? Is it change the program? Pledge yourself to you. <laughs> Possibly. Uh, we might have to, to work that out off uh, off stream uh, and talk about that. It, but that it, might be something to it, consider. It, it is an option you can do instead of going Bahama, which doesn't break your oath, by the way. You just change your deity, technically, to a different one. You stay the same. <laughs> Yeah, I'll I'll think about that. But for the, for the time being, it just seems like there's a lot of conflict, and uh, he did just destroy his uh, his holy symbol. So. It weighs too heavily on him. The tragedy of it all. <laughs> well, there's been a few things going on. Anyway, um, it's been around <coughs> two hours. And I say, I say, it's been a good time. This yeah. has been four encounters in an evolving way, a style that I never tried before, and kind of had to look things up. So, uh, um, they can negotiate with Chavroth next session to nice. either join them or not. At the same time, I wish to thank everyone for watching. I hope all of you had a good one, and I will see you all next time on Chaotic Roll. Season 2, Electric Boogaloo, Not in Spirit. I enjoy this <laughs> joke. Bye. 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 Stay safe.